welcome back to Tismania TV and another episode of DIY or Die. In today's video, I am actually going to be repurposing already repurposed items of clothing and it's going to be all former t-shirts. You guys probably know by now that turning t-shirts into different kinds of tank tops is one of my favorite pastimes, one of my favorite DIY projects. And the main reason for that is because I just wear tank tops every single day with uh, skirts, shorts, pants, whatever. And I often come by a lot of t-shirts. So I have tons and tons and tons of former tees that have been turned into tank tops. And today we're gonna be repurposing a bunch of these. And the reason why I am repurposing already repurposed items is because the way they came out after the first repurposing, I'm not completely pleased with. And for a lot of these, it's because I used to weigh more and they're very loose fit on me now. So I just wanna tighten them up. For others, it's because I wanna turn them into something else completely. So you're gonna see tons of different transformations today and they're gonna be very fast and simple. I'm not gonna do anything advanced. So hopefully this will be some inspiration for you if you have stuff laying around the house that you don't really know what to do with. So uh, let's take a look at the pile that I have to pick from today. And this is only a small fraction of all of the repurposed teas that I have. These are the ones that I want to change up. We're kicking things off with this zombie tank that is very loose fit and scrunched up in the sides right now. So what I want to do with this is make it fit tighter and I'm not going to cut anything. I'm just going to create two points at the bottom and tie it together. And instantly it has changed the entire look. So there are things you can do without having to sew or cut. So it's now shorter, tighter, but I can still wear it loosely if I want to. The next one is this red Hogwarts top that is loose and very low cut in the sides. So what I want to do with this is just making it fit tighter. So I'm going to start by putting it on inside out and then pinning it to fit my body tightly. So I'm just putting a couple pins on each side and then I'm going to sew across that, cut the excess fabric off and presto, we now have a tight little crop top instead of a loose one. Next up, we have this Psycho Billy tank that is long and loose and held together with safety pins. It is also cut open in the back. With this, we're gonna start by removing the safety pins and then we're gonna make it tighter and remove some of that length to make it shorter as well. So I'm gonna start by removing all of those safety pins, repinning the straps together because these were held together by safety pins as well before. And then I am putting it on inside out and then just doing what I did with the last one, which is pin it tightly on me. And then I'm just deciding how long I want it to go, cutting that length off, sewing it together, and here we go. It is now short and tight and not held together by safety pins. Next, we have this yellow one, which is loose fit and scrunched together by the sides, like the zombie top you saw in the beginning. For this, I'm actually just gonna use the print as a patch for this dress. So I'm just gonna cut a square of the fabric out around the print, place it where I want it on the dress, and then I'm going to pin that in place and use needle and thread, and when I say thread, I mean like really thick white thread to sew it on. And I'm using that Catwoman stitch as I like to call it. So yeah, this dress was kind of boring, but now it's a lot more fun and I'm still reusing the t-shirt even though I'm only using the print. Next up we have this tank top, which is one of my favorites. It is unfortunately very, very loose on me. We got some serious side boob action going on here. So I'm putting this on inside out like before and pinning the sides to make it fit tightly. This is gonna look great with high-waisted shorts. So after I've sewn it on, it now looks like this. Tight and not showing any side boob. Yay! <laughs> Definite improvement, don't you think? Next up, we have this trailer park tank. This is again loose, long, and open in the sides. With this, I'm gonna remove those pins that created the scrunches on the sides, and then I'm taking some of that length off. I'm first cutting to mark and then matching that on the other side. And then I'm cutting about a third of the way in on both sides, and then I'm creating a point down the middle. This is only for the front. For the back, I'm cutting straight off. And then from that point, I am cutting the point into two straps. 
Those straps will be used to tie the whole thing together, and then I'm just cutting off the fabric that is left in the back. So here we go, it's still nice and loose, but the tying it together changes the shape of it a little bit, and it makes it shorter so that it works with jeans and shorts. Next up, we have this Pretty Addicted tank. This has been tied together halfway down the back, which means that it is loose over the stomach, and I wanna tighten this up. So this is the back, so that I can keep tying it all the way down and get it to fit me tightly. It's just a lot easier to do this when you're wearing it backwards. So yeah, here we go. It's now tight all the way down. Nothing loose flapping over the stomach here. Next up we have this, which is a festival tank top. This is very long, again open in the sides and held together by safety pins. I'm gonna start by removing all of those safety pins and then I'm putting it on inside out. And like before, I'm going to be pinning the sides to make it fit me tightly. And I'm also going to be removing some of that length because this is way too long. So I'm gonna sew that, cut the length off and then cut the excess fabric off. And here we go. Nice and tight and a better length. I'm gonna get a lot more use out of this now. After that we have another loose fit tank top. This is from a Swedish punk band called Alvaret. This, yeah, again, side boob action and very, very loose. So I definitely wanna tighten this up. So again, I am turning it inside out, putting it on and pinning down the sides. As you can see, there's a lot of excess fabric on this one, so it's going to fit me a lot better after I've sewn that. So that is now instantly better and tighter and works a lot better with shorts and jeans and skirts. After that, we have this Rob Zombie tee. I forgot to try this on, but for this, I'm actually just going to be using the print as a patch for my very oversized army jacket. So I'm just cutting the print out placing it onto the back and then sewing it on by hand, doing the Catwoman stitch and again using that white thick thread. Instant improvement to a jacket. Very simple and fast to do. Next up we have this, which is another punk band tee. It's very loose fit and cut open in the back and I would like this to fit me tightly. So I'm going to be taking this in just like I've done with a bunch of other ones in this video. So wearing it inside out, pinning down the sides, and then sewing, and you guys know this by now. So yeah, here we go. Nice and tight, completely different top when it fits me like this. It looks so much better. Then we have this. This is the official tee for the close-up boat, which is a punk festival cruise. This is very, very loose and open in the sides. This is also very long. I'm gonna take this in, but I'm not gonna take any of the length off because the print goes all the way down. So I'm just gonna be pinning the sides like I've done before, taking those in, and then I'm just adding some safety pins to the top because there is some extra fabric over the boob. So I'm just folding that down and then attaching it with a safety pin. It's a cool detail, but if you don't like the safety pins, you can obviously sew this shut instead, making it fit better. And I absolutely love how this turned out. I'm actually gonna be able to use this now, yay. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.